She's been mocked, stepped on, beaten. She's been judged, looked at, cheated. She's neglected, but she stays pure. She's no Juliet, but Romeo will find her. And that girl, you and your friends make fun of. She's been crying. Um, do you want to start for the record and give them your name? David Leibniz. And your age? 71. And what symptoms are you dealing with right now? Pain. Uh, numbness. Tingling. What did the doctor, uh, sorry to cut you off, what did the doctor uh, diagnose you with, with your foot? Uh, necrotizing fasciitis of the heel, uh -huh. and uh, stepped on a screw, got infected, and had to have it operated on, uh, almost down to the bone. Boy, because the last... Uh, uh, time we were on film together, we were at uh, Nye County Special Use Permit uh, application presentation at a Board of Commissioner meeting out in Tonopah, and at that meeting you were walking on your foot fine, you were up and around, you looked alert and, and ready, you were, you were pres doing presentations in public, um, what's changed since then? Well, I'm very limited in what I can do now. I have a uh, boot that uh, has restricted me and it's uh, caused numerous problems. Mood, uh, ill feeling, and uh, pain in my foot, mm -hmm. and tingling in my fingers. So there's some nerve nerve damage. Is that why you're sitting on that cushion? Yeah. Nerve damage in the buttocks. In nerve in the butt? In the buttocks. So you can't sit down without that cushion right now, or what? Right. It's a burning pain, and I think it's associated with the pins and needles in, in my uh, fingers. Like, How much do you weigh today? I weigh 100 and about 150 pounds now. What did you weigh prior to this infection? 170 plus pounds. So 20 plus pounds is lost right now from uh, yeah. your rear end on down your legs into your foot area and your arms, your wrist, face. Muscle mass. Mm -hmm. About 25 pounds. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's go ahead and take your blood sugar real quick if you've got a moment. Before we start the first dose of cannabis treatment. So they say that there's certain strains that'll help with diabetes as well. Have you ever looked for an alternative medicine for diabetes? diabetes something that's uh, just started in your life or is this something hereditary through uh, your family as well, our family? Well, it started with me about five, seven years ago. Uh-huh. And it may run in the family, I'm not sure. So that's a test sample there. That'll be a test strip that you're going to uh, I take poke your finger and then put it into the machine and it tells you what you what level your blood sugar is okay ooh that's gotta hurt every time huh every time ow wow 
okay? No, you gotta do it. Better than getting sicker, right? Keep your blood sugar in the area that it's supposed to be in. You should continue healing and and your body can circulate somewhat. Has poor circulation been a problem with this healing? It just started. I don't recall having poor circulation, but ever since this injury... doesn't go on there just right you have to restick yourself yeah. wow that can be frustrating sometimes I bet While you're doing this, what were you like when you were younger? Were you athletic? We, I already know, but for the camera and the visitors that may yes. be watching today. I was athletic. And uh, played baseball for the University of Nevada. And was a teacher and a coach for many years. Okay, so we know that your levels are down to 129 right now, which is, which is down compared to like last night where you were at? Yes, 325 last night. Took uh, the, um, the uh, insulin medicine, the long-term one, and uh, that brought it down to 129 this morning. Okay, good. So you're at a level where you could go ahead and you could eat a, a croissant today or something, I believe? I think so. Okay, so this here is just a regular croissant, light and fluffy. What I've done is I've put about 25 uh, milligrams of cannabis treatment. This cannabis is going to be combined with uh, cherry wine CBD treatment along with a light dose of THC clippings that have been added to it in order to activate the CBD throughout your system. Um, the way that we understand it today is when you have the two uh, combined, it can uh, intensify the healing process uh, from the CBD and uh, help it to transmit through the body a, a bit quicker. So that's why we've made this unique combination. Um, so today will be the first day of this treatment and then we'll do another video clip uh, down the road shortly, maybe within uh, a couple weeks and see how your progress is going. And uh, then we'll monitor your blood sugar along with your ingestion of some of the treatments and see where you get in a short amount of time and our goal I guess here is to try and get you back to where you were at that last uh, Nye County uh, public meeting.